Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we want to take a look at the 92FS. This is the Inox version, the pretty sister of the M9 adopted by the US military. This is a beautiful handgun. Um, I love the stainless. I'm a big fan of stainless models. Uh, so stick around. We'll take a look at it a little more in depth on the tabletop. See you in a minute. Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, let's take a little closer look at the Beretta 92FS. Again, this is an Italian-made Inox version. Inox meaning that it is the uh, stainless steel version. Uh, the controls are all stainless. I know they make some US models that do not have necessarily stainless controls. They're more black or, um, I don't know, I'm not sure if they're polymer, but they're definitely blacked out. Uh, but this is the all stainless version. It does come with black plastic grips, which I swapped out for these uh, nice wood grips. Uh, I just like the look of it a little bit nicer. If you're going to have a stainless gun, you've got to make it pretty. So it is a standard 92FS in the respect that it is a 15 round standard capacity magazine. You can get extended magazines if you like, or if you live in the communist states, you can also get the 10 round magazine. They also have an older model that the original was a 92FS, or excuse me, 92S, um, and that changed a little bit. Um, it did have a magazine release at the base of the grip to remove the magazine. Uh, this is the 92FS has moved it up top, and the M9s all have it up here in the standard uh, US style on the trigger guard area. So if you do have a 92S, um, you probably know already, but just to reiterate, you can't use a 92S magazine inside a 92FS magazine because the cuts for the magazine release are in different places. You can get some aftermarket magazines that will work in both. Um, so if that's the case, then you're fine doing that. Uh, again, 15 round magazine is a standard. Uh, the frame on this is actually aluminum. It does marry up nicely with the stainless steel controls and stainless steel slide barrel, um, all the works. Uh, the standard three dot sights um, are uh, red. A little bit different than normal. Um, I know the M9s have a little bit of a figure eight type uh, with a dot in the back in the middle of your rear sight as well as the front sight dot. So these are standard three, dots, three dot sights. Uh, the front sight, it's not interchangeable, so you're stuck with it, whatever it is. You can change the color if you needed to, but you're, it's milled into your frame. So you're not going to get, uh, or into your slide, excuse me. Um, this is a single action, double action, meaning it's a hammer fired gun where you get a double action pull. You pull the trigger, it cocks the hammer and fires, as well as single action when the hammer's back. You get a much easier single action. There's a little bit of take up in that trigger and a little bit cleaner uh, follow up shots. But even the, single, uh, the double action is pretty nice, a little heavy uh, if you're carrying it. Uh, this is a big gun to carry, but if you are, the double action is nice for a single, and then you go into single action after that once that slide goes back. Now the 92 series is a little bit different than some of your other guns that you'll see out there. It does have this open slide where it shows the barrel. The barrel just kind of rides out there in the open. This is supposed to help with um, extraction and things like that, keeping things out of uh, getting caught up inside the slide. It does uh, work very well. Um, it also lightens up the slide a little bit uh, because it is a heavy handgun in the first place. Slide serrations are okay. If you're used to them, they're nice. You can get the ability to grab onto that, that safety decocker and use that as a way to grab the back of that slide. Also the front, though it doesn't have serrations, it does have this cutout, this little bulge. So if you're looking to impress checks, it's easy to grab it and just press it back a little bit. Um, you could actually do it all the way if you wanted to. It's very easy to grab onto. Just don't do it over the front and cover your hand over the front of the, the barrel. That would be bad. Uh, but it is an open slide design that uh, you don't see on many other handguns. It's uh, very distinctive of the 92 series or, or the bread is in general. Uh, the other part of this is the safety decocker. Uh, this is a safety decocker. So if your hammer is back, you're going to get it a decock and it stays in the safe. To fire, you need to take it out of safe and flip your safety up. A little bit different than 1911, if you're familiar with those, your safety is reversed. Um, in the 1911, your safety is going to be when you're in the up position and you would sweep it down to fire. The 92FS is a little bit different. It's opposite of that. 
It does have a nice beaver tail. Get your hand up in there. Um, the bore axe is a little bit higher than maybe some others, but it does allow you to get in there. It does have a big grip. So for you with smaller hands, may have a little bit harder time. These grips are actually a little bit bigger too since I've changed them out uh, from the standard plastic. They're a little bit heavier, uh, but I just love the look with that stainless steel. You get a little bit of um, vertical slide serrations there on the front and back straps. It does have a uh, ring on the bottom for your uh, lanyard. And your magazine release is swappable to the other side, though your slide lock is going to remain the same. If we want to take a look on the inside, we just pop it open here. The slide comes right loose as soon as you throw that lever down. The slide comes right off. If we take a look inside, it's a uh, a uncaptured guide rod so when you pull that baby out make sure it doesn't go shooting across the room on you it's happened to me more than a few times <laughs> you get used to using a Glock or an M&P or something similar to that with a captured recoil spring and when you go to pull this bad boy out if you are not careful you will send that guide rod shooting across the room um, now this is the only other thing too it is a plastic guide rod I know I've seen others that come with stainless steel guide rods. I'm not sure where that, um, if it's a specialty one or something different. Uh, but you can buy stainless steel guide rods if you want to fill this out and go all stainless. Uh, the barrel comes out just like normal. Pull it up and slide it out. Put it back together and then reverse off the same way. Slide our spring back in. Slide it in. Slide it back on the slide, turn our lever, and we're back. I do love the stainless steel on this, it's very beautiful. I got this on a, uh, as a used firearm um, at a really good price, probably about three or four years ago. Um, I think it was at Cabela's. I was looking around, I saw this inside the, the uh, used area, and it was right around 500 bucks. It was a steel. And I don't think it had ever been shot. If they've been opened and for whatever reason, I don't know if they're showing them or what they, what the uh, rules are for it, but it came up as a used handgun, but it was still covered in packing grease and everything else. So uh, I got it what seemed to be a new pistol in a, uh, for a used price. So if you're ever looking around, it's a great way to find some good pistols looking in the used cabinets because they are uh, a lot of steels that you can find in there. Uh, one more thing on that safety decocker, you can swap these out with a decocker only um, so that when you bring this down it will decock and spring back up to that you're in um, with no safety. A double action trigger is more than heavy enough to work as a safety. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video of the 92FS, uh, the Breda Inox 92FS version. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this or any other firearms for that matter, by all means, please put them in the comments below. Always looking for other things to do videos on. Um, thank you for your time and watching these things. It means a lot to me. Um, and we'll see you again soon in the next video.